It is time for Don't Have a Meltdown Monday, and sometimes during this part of the show, we have the tough discussions that um, that we hope are happening in the households. And if not, uh, my goal is that this is kind of a jumping off point for you and your families to be able to get into some of those tough discussions. I want to bring in Rob Crane, who's a law partner at Crane Brogdon Rogers. He's also the co-founder of Together We Can, which is this attorney pastor team. Good morning, Rob. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you. Before we get into the talk of really about race in America, talk about Together We Can and Together We Dine and how this came about. You bet. So um, my partner in crime is Pastor Richie Butler, who's senior minister of St. Luke Community United Methodist Church here in Dallas. Um, and so we were talking in lead up to 2017. It was a year I was going to be president of the Dallas Bar Association. And I do want to reference the bar because they've been a great leader here. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how do we get discussions going um, on race when the shootings in downtown Dallas happened, 7-7-2016. Uh, mm -hmm. And that just galvanized and crystallized our thinking of having people come together and with trained facilitators break everybody up into small groups of five to seven folks and have them answer questions, really listen to the answers. It's a listening exercise. And then talk about what people heard from those answers about race um, that struck them. And it's just a, it's a very simple organic exercise that really spurs organic conversation mm -hmm. about race. Particularly poignant today as closing arguments are set to begin in the uh, Chauvin trial, which, you know, some people have been glued to it. And, and I will say others are, are totally ignoring it. What what is a, a conversation topic? If you're recommending one among friend groups, or obviously, we're, you know, we encourage people to join your groups as well, but, but what's kind of a jumping off point for discussion for people to have a better understanding of one another? You know, we start with basics. Um, we start with, um, let's talk about the demographics of the community you grew up in. You know, was it predominantly white like mine? Was it mixed um, race? Was, you know, was it predominantly a minority a population? And how do you think that that uh, crystallized your thinking and perspectives about race. So we just start where we all have differences. We all have different parents, we all have different neighborhoods, we all have different mentors and experiences. So we start there and we ask questions about what is your first uh, recollection of racism, first time you saw racism, and tell us about that and how that struck you. Um, you know, the Derek Chauvin trial, boy, goodness, um, you hit it on the head, there are people who yeah feel it is their responsibility to watch that trial and bring those emotions back to the surface as part of, you know, part of their American citizenry. Um, and there are others where this is just just too painful for them to watch, um, but it is so critical that we are all mindful of it and continue to bring that mindfulness about these issues. You know, that's an issue of police, which gets complicated in many ways, um, but we gotta be mindful of all these issues on a daily basis. How does Together We Dine work, and what is the ultimate goal for this program? You know, Dine has been unbelievable during the pandemic, and one of the few bright spots, the Zoom platform has allowed us to reach people conveniently all over the globe. Um, we had an event with 151 individuals on uh, Friday uh, from all over the globe. Uh, it was a, awesome. It's a big international company. And so we're reaching thousands of people and it'll be tens of thousands very quickly and it'll go from there um, where people are coming together, having these conversations like you see on the screen here and really coming away with two big emotions. Number one is relief. You know, we can have these conversations and not be afraid that I'm gonna say something to hurt someone's feeling or be blamed for something um, or say something wrong. Um, so you see the relief on people's faces. And then second, this excitement that we can do this that we can take the, the conversation away from the loud voices on social media and cable network news and, and have these conversations and bring our community together. So it's a, an amazing yet simple concept that works. Rob Crane, thank you for the effort. I know this is extra, it's above and beyond, and it is appreciated. Thank you so much for coming on to talk about it today. And I'll share the information for everybody. The next community virtual dinner, which everybody is invited to, you guys, it's Together We Dine, Wednesday, April 28th at 5.30 p.m. Here are the websites, togetherwecan.1 and projectunity.net, and you do have to register the Tuesday before to get in on that.